Welcome once again to Musings by Danan. If you're new here, my name is Danan. I've been watching anime since 1985 and I'm currently reading over 500 manga or light novel series. I enjoy making videos recommending new anime or manga, and unlike other anime YouTubers, my degree was in English literature rather than engineering. So I tend to focus more on story structure, character development, and themes rather than action and fight scenes. I like to recommend series based on story and character rather than how good the artwork is or how great the fight scenes are. As someone who has read a lot of manga and seen a lot of anime, as well as studied genre and story structure, I feel I have a pretty good grasp on which manga are worth your time, depending on your tastes. Which brings us to the subject of today's video, Handyman Saito in Another World. Before we get started, I'd like to quickly ask you to like and subscribe. It really does help the channel, and it's free! With that out of the way, let's get to the video. There are three clips I want to show you that will help you better understand Handyman Saito in Another World. Here's the first one. Whoa, man! I'm really, really sorry! Are you... That's right, Trigun. Trigun is one of the funniest, most beloved anime of all time. Vash is delightful, a bit naughty, but not perverted to the point that people hate him. He's nowhere near certain other anime protagonists. But he does love the ladies, and for the most part, the ladies love him as well. Despite being the humanoid typhoon, Vash is a lot of fun to be around. He enjoys singing, dancing, drinking, and just generally having a good time. And, except for some action towards the end of each episode, most of Trigun is a light and happy ride. Until this scene, that is. It's simple. All you need to do is pull the trigger. Once you have killed me, this will all be over. Come on, time to choose. Now, why did this scene hit so hard? This scene isn't as dark or creepy as scenes in Berserk, Now and Then Here and There, or even Record of Lotus War. It wouldn't seem out of place in the original Orphan, or Yu Yu Hakusho. But up until this point, Trigun had very little darkness. Sure, Vash looks sad from time to time. We've had some sad scenes here and there, but this scene marked a tonal shift in the entire series. It marked the end of happiness. At the same time, it didn't feel entirely out of place. Trigun was always light and happy, but that happiness seemed to only be surface level. Like sugar, masking the sourness of lemons. Now, why do series do this? And how did Trigun make it work? The reason you add salt to a cake is to make it seem sweeter. And the reason you have a happy-go-lucky character go through something traumatizing is whiplash. That scene hits harder because it happens right as Vash is finally discovering happiness. He's got friends and companions surrounding him, people who love and trust him. And then along comes Legato Blue Summers, determined to scar Vash for life. And Handyman Saito in Another World mirrors this feeling. For the most part, this series is silly and cute. There are lots of jokes, an all-powerful wizard who can't recall the words to his spells, a priest who asks for gold coins to heal people, a girl wearing full plate, and a handyman. Now you could say this is the classic RPG party, fighter, cleric, wizard, and rogue. The scene is so familiar that we don't need a lot of explanation. We can just jump right into the series and the jokes. But the series isn't all jokes. And, like Trigun, the series hits you right in the feels but only after you've let your guard down. If you recall, I said earlier that I wanted to show you three clips. Here's the third and final one. You've probably already seen this video. It's one of the funniest ones on the planet. Unless you're a developer, then it's maddening. QA's job is to find the problems or out-of-the-box solutions to try and break your software. QA and engineering often have a confrontational relationship, even though it is a symbiotic and necessary relationship. But that's not the only thing going on here. Sure, every single brick goes into the square hole, but there is satisfaction to be found when you find the perfect fit. Oftentimes, people are hammered into place. Society doesn't like people that don't fit. Normality is the goal and you will conform. Suck up to your boss, don't step out of line, do what you're told, be a good boy and you'll have a job to support your family. Mediocrity is the expectation. No one wants an exceptional employee. They want everyone to fit in the square hole. 
and Saito faced that on Earth every single day. In Japan, he was a handyman. He did all sorts of minor repairs, but was regularly reminded that he was replaceable. If he stepped out of line, complained about the job, or displeased his boss in any way, his means of survival in a capitalist society was threatened. Get in the square hole, or die. But here, in another world, his skills and techniques are highly sought after and respected. The ability to pick a lock without setting off a trap is awe-inspiring. Not only that, Saito is able to memorize all of Morlock's incantations, so he can help the old man cast spells in combat. He even has some sewing skills that he picked up on Earth as a handyman, so he's able to make a bag for Lafenpat, the fairy cleric of the party. This made carrying her gold coins much easier. Saito's even able to do maintenance on Rails' armor, giving her even more reasons to fall for this capable and handsome man. Finally, Saito feels accomplished. He feels the satisfaction that comes from being appreciated. More so, he finds a place he belongs. Yes, his life is constantly in danger. Dungeon exploration isn't exactly the safest of careers. But he's happy. And I wish for that for all of my listeners. I want you to find happiness in your lives and careers. It can be hard to do, but if you keep looking, you'll find the place you belong, just like Saito. Hopefully your place is somewhere in this world and you don't need Truck-kun to find it. Now, small rant about this series. There is no legal way to read Handyman Saito in another world. At least, not until June of next year. The anime airs in January, so look forward to watching that. You can read the author's other series, Shed That Skin, Ryugasaki-san. I'll post links to buy both Volume 1 and 2 on Amazon and Bookwalker down below. I haven't had the chance to read it yet, but it's by the same author and I've heard good things about the series. You know what the weird part is? This isn't the only anime getting an adaptation in January based on the works of an author where the anime adapted work does not have an English release, but their other work does. There's two to my knowledge. If you want to know what the second one is, you'll have to tune in next week to find out. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, there's a link to her Fiverr page below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash There are several tiers to choose from. You can pick an anime or manga for me to do a video about, or you can join our monthly manga club. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons, Jiraiya, Muffins, Casey, Nick, Marcus, Black Dragon, Phoenix of Ice, Squishy, RGC, and Brett. You guys are awesome. I post anime or manga videos every Monday, or you can click here to watch additional videos. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Musings by Danan.